Good evening, good evening, good evening. And welcome to Lilybrook. I'm on the 11th tee. I'm back on the six day week now, so um, I'm a little tired because this is Saturday evening, late, and uh, I've spent the day bashing the keyboard, which doesn't sound very strenuous, but it does. Those of you who do it six days a week will know how tiring it is. So I'm not exactly playing particularly well. See, I don't, I don't play golf for fun. Or rather, I don't play golf for fun well, because I switch off and I don't concentrate on what I'm doing. And inevitably, there's a bad shot on every hole and a bogey on every hole. And when I'm scoring like that, oh, I'm getting tired then I don't enjoy what I'm doing, really, and I wish I wasn't out here. There's always got to be a reason for me to be out here. And I'm not a social animal either. Um, this tea box is uh, rather empty except me. You know, I can either talk or play golf. I can't do both. Now, around the front nine, I was making a different video, so I was I had a little bit of concentration then, but since that video ended, I basically... Uh, gone to pot a little bit and the holes that I didn't video on the on the front nine I was also poor on that see I'm I'm a competitive animal there's got to be something in it that I've got to shoot at that's how I get to concentrate that's how I play well and when I do those two things that's when I have fun I don't have fun just walking around chatting and slapping it and playing bad shots that isn't fun. I know for some people it is fun, but for me it's not fun. So I'm going to start on the 11th tee to the 18th green. That's simple maths. That's eight holes. I got two shots, one on 12, one on 15. The target is to play those eight holes to my handicap. And it's a beautiful evening. So uh, let's give it a go. Let's switch on. Let's get the concentration going. Let's have my kind of fun. My kind of fun is going low, not laughing. You bet you'd never guess that. Now that's what I call fun. Not taking the piss out of someone because they knobbed the ball or shanked it or is wearing odd socks today because they didn't get dressed properly. That is fun. The 12th is back into the north wind. Yes, the north wind is paying us a visit again. So it's out with the driver. Now I'm leaving the putting clips a bit longer so you can see me moving around on the green. When I do play, I think it's important that you can trust me, that you see what I'm actually shooting, and I'm not having three or four goes at a putt. I think honesty in these videos is more important than the score, although the score is important. That's fun too.
Okay. See, I had an argument about this the other weekend about, for me, the score is part of, if not the vast majority of the fun that I have. I mean, yeah, you do need good company and I do love playing with my mates. And we do have a laugh between shots, but when it comes to the actual shots, playing the shots and making the score, then we shut up. We don't take the piss out of each other who's hit a bad shot, unless it's invited. You know, if I hit a bad one and I, and I make a, a comment about my shot, then that is inviting people to join in. But we actually respect each other. If somebody hits a bad shot, then you don't pull the leg. Anyway, that was a superb shot, but the bounce to the right was huge. So uh, let's see where that's finished. And then getting out of trouble. That's fun for me. I think that's why I'm good at it. It's because I look forward to it. I enjoy it. There's another aspect of the game I really enjoy. It's the challenge of getting out of the shite. Well, it looked worse on the tee box. Um, I landed about 40 yards that way and it's come charging down the slope into the rough. I've got 43 yards to a flag that I can't attack. I can't use the backstop to bring the ball back because it is too far away from the, the flag's too far away from the backstop. So 15 feet is about it. But I love working out these kind of shots to uh, see if I can make a score. Well, that's a bit of an oops. I think that too far. I've missed the green, missed the, the backstop. So this is very steeply downhill. I don't have a lot of control of where this ball goes or how far it goes. But you can work it out. And that's not bad. You'd certainly take this from up there. I think if the flag was much closer to the backstop, you know, I'd, I'd now have 20 feet, not five feet. So, uh, luck plays its part in this game of ours, as well as the skill. See now, that's fun, it's into the north wind, so I've had to hit me three wood today instead of me five wood. The target was a little fade and over the stick. Well, I missed the stick by about eight inches on the right hand side, so uh, not bad, eh? Quite funny really you know I don't impose my values on anyone else I don't tell them how they should be having fun on the golf course but occasionally people try and impose their values on me it's quite funny you know I had a comment the other week and it was basically your problem is is you think you're a tour pro but what do I know about the golf swing 
which was, you know, it was a really sarcastic delivery. And I resisted the urge to turn around and say, fuck all. See, when I'm on it, I get putts like that for birds. And when I'm a little bit off, then I got 20 feet and I make me pass. You know, I chopped out an awful lot of stuff that I said to camera because it wasn't suitable. But you can see on this hole and on the tee shot of the next hole, I'm still angry about what I was talking about, about somebody else telling me off for concentrating and trying to shoot a low score. So, um, yeah, that was a great shot, wasn't it? Right off the toe. So, yeah, I don't tell people how they should have fun on the golf course. And I don't see why somebody should tell me what I should be doing on the golf course. Whether I should be chatting, laughing, joking. I play golf my way. And I enjoy golf my way. And this is how I have fun. It's going low. This is my fun. This is when I walk off the golf course. And I am really happy. I don't need anybody to tell me. That I should be going around the golf course like a clown. Because I can't. I can, but then the score goes right down the toilet. Well, I'm not going to tell you how you should enjoy yourself on the golf course. You do what you do, and I'll do what I do. Simple fact is, is if I'm in a group of guys and we're laughing and joking and taking the piss, my score goes down the toilet. And then I look at the card at the end of the round, and I'm deeply disappointed. So uh, if you can play golf and laugh and joke and switch off and then switch back on again, play a decent shot, switch off, make a good score while switching on and off, you're a better man than me because I can't. I can talk or I can play golf. I can't do both. Anyway, front flag. So today I'm going to try up the hill and run it into the green. Because it's on the front, if I go down the throat, I don't think I can stop anywhere near the flag. I'm going to be 40, 45 feet beyond, and that's a three jab country. So I'm going to try the other. I'm going to try and play short and um, see if I can just run it on the front. Just tickle it on the front. Nearly. That was nearly very good. I'll show you when we get down there. When you put the ball left and up the hill there, it takes a long time to run down. This green's got a bit of a false front and it's come across that false front and it hasn't quite held onto the green. I was pretty sure this putt would have turned left from the bank there, separating the, the green from the pond, but it's a putt that you learn and put in the memory bank. 
Well, I'm grateful for the par. If I hadn't clunked that five iron, it would have got on the green proper and, well, I'd have still made a par. Right, number 18. You don't actually get to see this often because the camera's back there and all you see is the edge of the world. And it looks like that. Now we tend to go at these fir trees down here and try and hit a little fade round the corner. Or if I'm feeling like I'm brave, then I'll go over the corner of the tree. What I'll do is I'll stick the camera up as high as I can. I'll tee off right at the front of the box here. I'll, I'll ignore the tee blocks and we'll see if you can get a better view of the actual hole as I'm playing it. Not sure if this is going to work. I'm actually on a little downslope at the front of the tee box, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Be a bit of fun. See, the fun for me is the struggle against par, the struggle against myself. See, it's not the golf course that beats me, it's myself. So the challenge for me is to beat myself and what goes on in here. Anyway, let's see if we can get down the hill safely. takes a very long time to land. It's just gone through the fairway a bit, but it's not behind the tree, so should have something like 70 yards to the flag. Try for a final birdie. See, this is my kind of fun. Hitting good shots, hitting good pitches, having birdie putts. Cheerio.